Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And our theme for Christmas this year is Peace Has Come. Now, every single year, I write up a little devotional for our church family, and they have something to read from December 1st all the way through December 25th. But this year, I decided, you know, not everybody had a chance to grab one of these, and I think we could all use some Christmas peace. So I decided to just read a page, add a devotional, sit in front of the Christmas tree, and we'll just throw it up on YouTube for everyone to share. Our reading today is called Our Joy Language, and the verse is from Matthew chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 10 and 11. It says, When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You know, birthday parties come in all shapes and sizes. Grandmothers like warm dinners with the entire family present, but little kids like parties with balloons and pizza. For their birthday celebration, some people even like being carried through a crowded restaurant on a chair. At birthdays, you may see dancing, singing, gifts, decorations, funny hats, and long-winded speeches. And as you grow, we will witness all of the wonderful different ways that we celebrate life. The three wise men also celebrated the birth of Jesus in their own unique way, with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Let's not forget presence at parties. Who doesn't love presents? <laughs> you could say that parties and celebrating is our joy language. And so what better way to celebrate the birth of Jesus than with a holiday like Christmas? The day the Christ was born should always be a reason to celebrate. From totally still and quiet to singing at the top of your lungs, we all have our favorite ways to ring in the season. In your joy language, try saying Merry Christmas to everyone that you lock eyes with today. Yes, that might be a lot of people, but what a wonderful phrase to say. Father, you give me so many reasons to celebrate this Advent season. Thank you for filling my heart with joy as I celebrate the first Noel, and the peace that has come. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our December 16th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go. I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.